Hi, I'm Marla Folden. I'm an SLP at the Down Syndrome Resource Foundation. And today I'm going to be demonstrating how to use snack time as a way to use communication temptations for early communicators. I'm going to be joined by my lovely assistant and child, Finn. And we are going to have some hummus and crackers for our snack. I'm only going to give him a couple of crackers and a little bit of hummus so that he has the chance to ask me for more. First, I have to open it. <laughs> okay. What is that? Something yummy. I okay. I think it looks like? Crackers. I think it's crackers. Okay, so you can have some crackers for your snack and some hummus. There you go. Crackers. Crackers. They're crunchy crackers. And then mommy's gonna dip it. Dip. Mm, that's good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're going to dip it. Okay, awesome. No. No. So the trick with communication I temptations. Oh, is that yummy? It's hummus. The trick with communication temptations is to keep the item in sight but out of reach. So here we have the crackers and the hummus, so Finn can ask us for more at the point where he wants some. What do you want? Yeah. More? Oh, more please? Would you like more hummus? Oh, no. Not yet. Are we doing something funny? Absolutely. More hummus. Alright, here's a cracker. You want more crackers? That one too? More crackers. So we're modeling regularly. Two crackers. What Finn could say if he wanted to ask for more in a nice long sentence. More crackers. More. More hands. More of that? What's that one? You know that. Crackers. More crackers? Okay. More crackers. Here you go. 